unsolved case that started nearly 10 years ago is now crossing state lines. Ashley Mullis was last seen in September of 2013 in Muncie. Today, investigators made an arrest in connection with her case in North Carolina. Detectives are calling this the biggest break in the case since it began. Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton spoke with Mullis' dad and with investigators about these new developments tonight. It's been more than nine years and Don Mullis still wears the t-shirt, still holds the signs, and this dad still has hope. I still have a missing daughter and, uh, you know, this is just uh, uh, a beginning of, of the battle. Ashley Mullis disappeared in September of 2013. Since then, no one has seen or heard from her, and there's been nearly no updates in her case until today. Detectives arrested this woman, 66-year-old Sheila York, in North Carolina. She's facing obstruction of justice and kidnapping charges. This is actually the first arrest related to this case. According to court documents, Mullis and York's husband, Daniel, started an affair before she disappeared and Mullis got pregnant. Mr. York was listed as the baby's father on the birth certificate, although it was never confirmed he was the father. A couple years after Mullis disappeared, the Yorks took the baby with them to Florida. Mr. York died a month later and Miss York kept the baby. We're trying to work with what we've got with the people that are still living in the case. Chief Deputy Jeff Stanley with the Delaware County Sheriff's Office says Miss York filed adoption paperwork, but now the validity of that process is one of the many questions investigators have for her. We are hoping um, that some information will come to light and we believe that she has some information that would benef be beneficial to us. Melissa's parents filed for visitation rights and those were never granted. The girl is now in the care of the North Carolina Department of Social Services. That's horrible for any child um, and it's going to be very difficult, but we know in the end it's the right thing to do. Don tells us he wants his granddaughter back and he wants answers. What happened? To his daughter Ashley. If she knows anything about my daughter's whereabouts to come forward and, and you know be truthful about it and you know let me let me put my daughter to rest uh, you know that's just what I need at this point. In Delaware County, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. New York's bond is set at a hundred thousand dollars. She'll be extradited back to Indiana soon. We'll continue to stay on top of this and bring you any new updates on air and online at fox59.com. We have some breaking news out of Howard County.